sounds like you need some sort of license. Now you can use a certification as part of your education to get your license, whether it be mental health counseling, social work, um, you know, psych psychology, something like that. But I, just because I take a correspondence course yes. doesn't mean that I'm a licensed professional in, 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 in any mental health counseling. It, just because I took biology in high school doesn't make me a doctor. Right. Well, so this, is, have to, this is what you know, I'm letting you know as part of the state I live in that I saw an advertisement to get online training in what is called gender affirmation therapy. And it is my belief, it's up to the government to look this up. I'm just one woman. Um, it is my belief that those people are writing doc doctor letters that uh, some uh, a 19 year old will take to a surgeon who is going to completely alter their urinary tract in ways that are proving to be quite risky. That's why I'm reporting this particular practitioner who is still uh, engaging in a large practice of what is now called gender affirming therapy. Okay. Right. I, I think it's very important that, you know, all of you in these regulatory uh, governmental agencies are aware of what's going on. Uh, the awareness within these agencies which protect um, vulnerable mentally ill persons from uh, charlatans are, uh, I'm suggesting to you that perhaps you need to play catch up. <laughs> I'm very concerned about kids in our society today. And, and I agree with you, but as a practical matter, unfortunately, the law doesn't move as fast as technology does. And it's just, it takes, and just to be clear, my agency, nor me, we don't write the laws, the legislature does. Of course. <laughs> so it's when the legislature deems this to be something of concern, that's when they get involved. But, yes. But you are right. The law takes a while to catch up. I know like with uh, telehealth and telemedicine, that became a hot button issue, especially during COVID. People were afraid to go to their doctors. So telemedicine was, especially telehealth in New York, was not legal up until about two years ago. Right. When, they, when the legislature and the governor said, okay, you know, people need psychiatric, people need mental health services, they can't go outside. So, you know, to, to minimize as, as much as possible, people doing damage to themselves will allow telehealth and they just decided to keep it. Right. So certain things like that can move the legislature very quickly, but for the most part, they don't. Yes. It's, it's very, it's, it's, you know, the legislature process is messy and it takes yes. a while and there's a lot of compromise and, and conflicting, um, interests, you know, conflicting interests. Right? Yes. So, but okay. So, um, but I will, like I said, I will consult with our council okay. to see uh, what, um, you know, when the, when this became, you know, a license and everything, I, and we'll go from there. The, the, the last question I have is concerning your ex-husband. Did this, um, did the therapy, to your knowledge, have a, a negative impact? I know it had a negative impact on your family, and I'm, I'm sorry for that. Is... It, did it have a negative, to your knowledge, did it have any kind of negative impact on his psyche? Well, he All went through, started. he got the sex change operation and is, you know, has done that. And he never seemed happy to me, but, I mean, he's not going to make a case against anybody. Um, I acquired uh, Park, uh, 
I acquired um, post-traumatic stress disorder because of the uh, parental alienation that this psychologist encouraged the father of my children to do. And my son, when he was nine years old, expressed suicidal ideation because of the manner in which his father rushed into this new identity and told his sons, you can't call me dad, that's mean, don't do that. So, but that's, you know, um, <laughs> maybe one day women like me who are called trans widows will make a class action lawsuit against the American Psychological Association. <laughs> maybe that's our only recourse.